Hello students. In previous lecture, we studied about probability, random experiment, outcomes, sample space. Today, we will see how to find the answers of events. So, first of all, we are see the meaning of event. The outcomes, see on the screen, the outcomes satisfying particular condition are called favorable outcomes. A set of favorable outcomes of a given sample space is called as an event. A set of favorable outcomes of a given sample space is called an event. So, event is a subset of the sample space. It means some points from the sample space we are right in the answers of event. So, that in that event that sample points are less than that of sample points present in sample space. That's why the sentence is given. So, event is a subset of the sample space. Events, event are, events are generally, events are generally denoted by capital letters such as A, B, C, etc. For example, see one example we learn here. Two coins are toss. Therefore, sample space S is equal to two coins are toss. So, on both the coins, result is obtained head head or head tail or tail head or tail tail. So, number of sample points in this sample space, how many are there? 4. So, n of s is equal to 4. Now, one event is given. Event A is getting at least one tail. At least very important meaning of the word here at least. At least one tail means minimum one tail is required in the sample point. But more than that, that is also okay. So, more than one tail also present in sample point that we write in our event. So, which are of that points? At least one tail. So, in case of the first, see that again. In first of this first sample point, H and H, tail is not there. We require at least one tail and more than one. At least one tail and more than one tail also were present in a sample point that we write in the event. So, remaining three points, a, a tail is present there, H, T. So, we are writing here, T, H, one tail is present. And more than one is also present that we also write here in the event. That's why we are writing our answer of the event A. That is at least one tail present in sample point. So, how many are there total in event A? Total three points are there. And that's why N of A is equal to 3. In this way, we are solving the questions given related to the events in next practice set 5.3. Now see that. Practice set 5.3. First question. Write sample space S and number of sample points that is N of S for each of the following experiments. Also write events a, B, C in the set form and write N of A, N of B and N of C. So, option number 3 we saw here. What is option number 3? Three coins are tossed simultaneously. So, in last video we learn about this, how to obtain the result when we toss three coins simultaneously or at the same time. So, three conditions are given. Condition for event A is 
to get at least two head. Condition for event B is to get no head. And condition for event C is to get head on the second coin. So, how to write the answer C on the screen? First one, we are writing the sample space. What is given here? Three coins are tossed simultaneously. So, last time we learned how you remember that. We know the how to write the sample space when we toss the two coins. See that. H, H. Second is H, T. Third one is T, H. And last one is T, T. You remember this. So, when we toss the three coins simultaneously, so very simple way you write the answer. If you are knowing the sample space of two coin toss simultaneously, that is written here. Clear? So, at the first place, you write the H. See, I underline. At this underline position, you write down the H. So, what is the first sample point? H, H, H. Second one is H, H, T. Then third one is H, T, H. And fourth one is H, T, T. So, now take the tell and that we write at the first position in that above sample points. So, T, H, H. Then T, H, T. At the underlying position in our sample points, write down the T at the first place. So, T, T, H. And last one is T, T, T. So, how many are there total? 8. So, sample points in sample space, that is N of S is equal to 8. And then we are writing the answers of events. What is the first event is given? Check there. Event A. Two get at least two heads. So, that we write here. Event A is to get at least two heads. What is the meaning of at least two heads? Minimum two heads and more than two heads also present in sample point that we write in the answer. Minimum two heads. At least two heads means minimum two heads. But in first sample point H, 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 all three heads are present. So, that is also correct. And minimum two are required. So, so, so H, H, T, two heads are there. H, T, H, two heads are there. T, H, H, two heads are there. And remaining sample points, two heads are not present. And that's why that four underlined sample points we write in the answer in event A. So, A set is a H, 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 T, H, T, H, and T, H, H. In all these three, four sample points, above condition is satisfied. That is at least two heads. And that's why N of A is equal to what? Four. All of you understood? Next. Second event is given to get no head. We do not require head. So, what is the answer? In that above eight sample points, we required as per the event be given to get no head. We don't want head in any sample points. What is the answer? Last sample point is TTT. In this TTT, no any head is present on the coins. And that's why B event equal to what? TTT. How many sample points here? Only one. So, N of B contains only one sample point. Next. In event C, what is the event C is given check? To get, event C is to get head on the second coin. So, at the second position, H is required. Check in that sample space. At the second place, what we require? Head. So, here in between, second position means first is head, second is head. Here also second head. Next one is THH, so middle second position is H and THT again at the second place, the yeah, second position head is present. Remaining four sample points, no head is present on the second point. That's why our answer is only four sample points we are writing in the event C. Check there. 
सो इन इवेंट सी इज इक्वल टू एच 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 सो एट सेकेंड पोजिशन एच इज प्रेजेंट एच एच टी अगेन हेड इज प्रेजेंट टी एच 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 इज प्रेजेंट एंड टी एच टी अगेन एट द सेकेंड प्लेस ऑन द कॉइन हेड इज प्रेजेंट सेटिस्फाई द कंडीशन एंड दैट्स वाई हाउ मेनी सैंपल पॉइंट इन दिस इवेंट सी सो एन ऑफ सी इज इक्वल टू फोर ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड सो इन दिस वे वी आर फाइंड द आंसर्स गिवन questions in the problem set or practice set 5.3 we are solving few more examples now see that question ya yeah, option number 5 check that from three men and two women environment committee of two persons is to be formed from three men and two men are there and we are forming the committee of two persons so events given condition for event a is given here there must be at least one woman member in that committee of two persons at least at least one woman member is required must be required so at least one woman means minimum one and more than one woman also present so that we write in the answer condition for event b is one man one woman committee to be formed only one man and one woman is required compulsory in this event b and condition for event c is, is there should not be woman member so woman is not required in the committee of two persons only men are required clear so see there how to write the answer three men and two men so we using the short forms see here suppose m1 m2 m3 are three men and w1 w2 are two women from this committee of two persons present is not required there persons to be formed yeah no a committee of two persons to be formed and therefore sample space s is equal to so how we are writing the sample space check now very simple method is there so make the combination of first men with all so m1 m2 m1 m3 so first man is combined with remaining two forming the pair next so m2 is forming with pair of m3 so m2 m3 then next so first man pair with the w1 and w2 check there so m1 w1 first man first woman m1 w2 first man second woman make the pair of second man with the with both these women so m2 w1 m2 w2 now third man pairing with these two men so m3 w1 is third man and first woman m3 w2 third man and second woman and last possibility is committee of two member contain both the women w1 and w in this way you are forming the pairs of the two members in the committee so how many possibilities are here in sample space check that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 total 10 so n of s is equal to 10 total 10 committees are formed as per the condition now event a what is the condition for event a is given there must be at least at least one woman member required in that committee so at least what condition given at least one woman so minimum one woman and more than that also required or uh, present in sample point that to be right so one woman is required so in first three points woman is not there so leave this all that three points in remaining sample points 
वन वुमेन एंड एटलीस्ट वन वुमेन और मोर देन वन वुमेन इज प्रेजेंट सो रिमेनिंग ऑल पॉइंट्स वी आर टेकिंग इन इन द इवेंट ए चेक दैट एम वन डब्ल्यू वन एम वन डब्ल्यू टू एम टू डब्ल्यू वन एम टू डब्ल्यू टू एम थ्री डब्ल्यू वन एम थ्री डब्ल्यू टू एंड लास्ट वन डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू Clear of you. Count these points. So total n of a is equal to seven. All of you understood. Check the event B. In event B is one man and one woman committee to be formed. Compulsory one man and one woman is required. This is important condition. So check in a sample space. In which sample points one man and woman present? So first three points omitted and last point is omitted. Clear? Okay, underline. Check there. In remaining points one man and one woman is present, and that's why total answer is six. So check here. In all these sample points one man and one woman is present, and that's why n of b is equal to six. Even c is. There should not be a woman member. So woman is not required in the committee of two members. Not be a woman member. So check in sample space. Woman is not required. So in first three sample points, woman is not present. Remaining all sample points, woman is present. So our answer is only these three: M1, M2, M1, M3, and and M2, M3. So, in event C, how many points are there? Sample points, so total three. In this way, we are finding the answers of the given question. We are solving one more question. That is option number six. One coin and one die are thrown simultaneously. So uh, one on one coin, two faces are there. That is head or tail, and one die. How many faces on the die? On the die, six faces, and number from one to six. Or some dots are there. Single dot, two dots. So maximum six dots are there. So total six faces. So condition for event A is two gate head and Odd number. So on a die, total six numbers are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So all of you know about what is mean by odd numbers. So odd numbers are one, three, and five. That we that we pairing with head. Second, a condition for event B. To get a head or tail. Both are required in answer. Head or tail, and compulsory even number is required with head or tail. So according to that, we are writing the answer. Condition for even C: number on the upper face is greater than seven, and tail on the coin. So all of you know about this. On a die, only Greatest number six is present because six faces are there. Number seven is not present on a die, and that's why not a pair is a form with a tail. So we are getting answer, I think, empty. So see there what is uh, in which way we are writing the answer. So first of all, we are writing the sample space. Check how to write the sample space. Sample space S is equal to. So. On one coin, what is present? Head and tail. And all of you know that on one die, how many faces are there or numbers are there? That is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So make a pair of head in all uh, with all these six numbers. So see that in sample space: H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. And in second, now make the pairs with the tail with these six numbers. So T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, and T6. Clear all of you? 
So in this way, uh, we are getting the 12 sample points in this sample space. So we are writing n of s is equal to 12. Next. Now, event A. What is the event A is given? Check now. Event A, to get head and an odd number. Head and with odd number is required. So, H1, head with 1 is odd number. H and 3, H3 that is a head with 3 is the odd number. And H5, these 3 pairs satisfy the condition. And that's why in event A, only 3 sample points are there. Head with head with odd numbers. So, H1, H3 and H5. So, N of A is equal to 3. Next. Event B. To get a head or tail and even number. So, head or tail. Both are required in sample points with even number. So, H2, H4, H6, head with even numbers or tail. T2, T4, T6, tail with even number. So, N of B is equal to 6 sample points is obtained in this event B. And last event C is number on the upper face is greater than 7 and tail on the coin. So, all of you know about this. 7, seven number is not present on a die. Why? Because only six faces are present in case of a die. Seven number is not there. So, that seven number not forming a pair with tail that is present on the coin. And that's why we are showing the empty bracket. Or also showing that C is equal to null set that you learn in standard 9. How we are representing the empty set that is a null set by using this symbol this symbol is called as a phi. And that's why. How many numbers in, in, the, in that set? No any number. And that's why n of c is equal to 0. In this way, you are solving the remaining questions from this practice set. 5.3 that is related to the event. All of you understood? So, try to solve. Thank you.